welcome to Georgia, one of the most beautiful and the hospitable countries in the world. Hospitality is a major part of the Georgia's tradition and also our identity. In Georgia we have saying that the guest is a gift from God. The first thing when the guest knocks on your door is you have to treat them with the good food and drink. We have great treasury, this is our mountains, and we are not willing to have it only for us. We are ready to share for everybody in the world who wants to come and enjoy it. We had an idea to bring uh, our friends, uh, friends of Georgia, to introduce to that resort that is now just starting to develop. This helicopter wasn't just taking us to one destination. We had this helicopter for two weeks to go wherever we wanted. It was just absolutely unreal what they laid out for us. Skiing is not only about sports, it's about mountains, about the nature, about the free spirit. So all together makes the excitement quite a different experience than any other excitement. To Georgian powder. Ah, come on, come on, yeah, come on. Georgian's food and wine is, is very important. I have to say it's one of the most incredible things about being in Georgia is the camaraderie that you share around the table when you're toasting with Georgian wine uh, and sharing Georgian friendship. One afternoon, the president of Georgia showed up. He heard we were in town. It was surreal. I mean, I've never met a president, let alone had wine and skied with him. Joey and I could barely keep up. Historically, uh, Georgia has been all the time in the wars and the fights, so all these towers that you see in this uh, city are small fortresses that were making impossible for the different invaders at that time to conquer this place. To the man who had the vision to turn Mashtia into a fantastic skiing area, yeah. thank you. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Thank you. We ended up doing maybe 12 toasts, and then uh, a bunch of the locals came in and sang a bunch of songs and we did the traditional Georgian dancing. You know, just, it really took you back in time. We were all out there in a line just having the most insane party in this 12th century tower. It was unreal. Yeah, we felt like we were Georgians that night. Ski the resort, super fun, but uh, we're here to go heli skiing, ski the big mountains. The clouds finally broke, so you know, you get that anxiety, that nervous feeling like, oh my God, this is happening, we're, we're going, it's real now. We ski up to the edge of the first zone and we look over and it's just this, you know, beautiful, long, mellow power run, which is kind of what you want, starting a, you know, heli day, feel things up. It 
up being good low angle pow and a fun run to start with. Unfortunately, we were shut down because of high avalanche danger. Batu suggested we go check out another region, possibly find a more stable snowpack. So on the way to Gadari, Batu wanted to stop at Batumi, a beautiful coastal town right on the Black Sea. It was crazy. In the morning, we were in the mountains, and within two hours, we were sitting on the beach. Just swam the Black Sea. Let's go ski Gadari. Yeah. Woo! Woo! Gadari is a built-up resort. It's been here for 30 years. It's where everyone comes from, Tbilisi, to holiday, or for the weekends. Last day of the trip skiing in Georgia, we got out, didn't think we were going to get to do much, but we ended up finding a really cool zone with good snow and we got some cool, really fun lines. Even though the lines were pretty short, it was the snow was amazing. You know, nothing really long, but we did get a taste of the shape of those mountains over there. We got to ski, you know, a couple of the spines, a couple fun little lines, and had a great, great last day. I mean, I'm going to tell everyone about Georgia. And they treat visitors as a gift from God. It's just an amazing place to come and ski and visit. The people were so friendly, so open to having us there. I mean, it's not will I go back, it's when. I'm definitely gonna make Georgia a part of my life.